The state government is facing a major revolt against its controversial new parking tax. Some of Adelaide's most powerful business leaders have united to try and scrap the tariff, which they say will hurt both businesses and motorists. 25 of the city's most powerful investors gathered this afternoon with one objective. They all resolved to get on board and to fight the introduction of a car parking tax in, in the CBD. From next July, every off-street and ticketed on-street car park will be taxed $750 annually. The money to fund transport projects like the construction of new park and ride facilities. That was an announcement that we made nearly four months ago. I find it surprising that uh, any group would have taken four months to discuss this. The Premier says there will be no changing his mind. I won't agree to scrapping it, but um, they're, they're entitled to put their point of view. He claims the money is essentially already spent. We put in this into our budget, so obviously we're committed to it. It's a settled proposition. But the city's business leaders are preparing for a long fight. They're vowing to make the parking tax a key election issue and are confident the voting public will be on their side. We'll be looking at a range of mechanisms to ensure that all South Australians understand that the state government will be putting up parking costs in the CBD by 25% a year. The government has bowed to public pressure before. Today the Premier turned the sod on a $28 million upgrade of the park's community centre, which it nearly closed less than three years ago. When you make a mistake, the best thing to do is to change your mind quickly. Ben Avery, Nine News.